What's up everybody? In this one, we're gonna be talking about the paintbrush tool. Super powerful, super creative stuff. Let's get started by just, I uh, wanna reset my studio to make sure that my screen looks like your screen by going up to window, studio, and reset studio. Okay, so let's talk uh, paintbrushes. So on your left-hand side where your tools are, we're gonna look down here and we are going to use the paintbrush tool, which is B for a shortcut on your keyboard. Um, and with Affinity, as you know, if you've seen any previous videos, and where all your tools are, if you see a tool and has this little triangle in the bottom right corner, it has related tools or similar tools uh, hidden in there. So we're just gonna go with the paintbrush tool. And uh, you can see when I've done that, my mouse has changed to a circle. So I got a blank canvas here. I'm gonna put a pixel layer here just so I can start painting on it. So I'm just gonna add a new pixel layer right here. I'm just gonna say paint, sure, paint. Okay, so I got that. Got my paintbrush tool selected. I'm gonna pick uh, blue, some kind of blue for this. Uh, okay, so what you need to pay attention to is when you're using your paintbrush in the top left corner. You have your width, which is your size of your brush. You have your opacity, which is essentially just your transparency, so how you know how uh, see-through it is or how strong it is. You have your flow. A flow, is, a flow I'll show you with an actual brush, but it, it kind of almost means how much you have on your brush when you're doing a stroke and your hardness is how hard the edges are, whether they're soft or they're a bit harder, but we'll go through examples right now. Okay, so right now I have, uh, my brush size is 270 pixels, my opacity 100%, my flow 100%, my hardness 100%. If I do a stroke, bring this down a bit, that's what's gonna look like, a pretty solid stroke. Now, if I turn the opacity down, as I said, that's transparency, let's put it to 50%, I'm just gonna show you what that does. And you can see, not as bright, it's a little bit more dimmer because the opacity is faded. Now let's turn the flow way down. And like I was saying, <clears throat> think of flow as the amount of paint on your paintbrush. So when you do a stroke and there's a lot of paint, it's gonna be pretty strong. If there's a little bit of paint and you do a stroke, it'll start to fade. So let's turn the flow down to like, whatever. Um, let's go 40% and I'm gonna change the opacity all the way up. So just the flow has changed right now. And you'll see when I do a stroke, see how it's sort of spotted and not as thick as the line up here. So basically there's less paint on the brush and it's kind of being spotted as you drag it along. That's what your flow is. Okay, and finally your hardness. Now, uh, I got opacity, flow, and hardness set to 100%. So you can see my, I'm just gonna do a dot here, a circle. You can see when I zoom in that it's just this, you know, super, like it, it's a strict circle. The edges are very hard, there's no softness. That's just how, uh, that's just what hardness is. I'm gonna bring the hardness down to almost, Let's bring it down to like 30%. And I'm again, flow and opacity, 100%. And I do a dot. The dot's smaller, but it's also a lot softer. If I bring it right down, a little bit softer. So that's what hardness, uh, flow, and opacity are. I personally have my flow very low, my hardness almost always at zero, and my opacity very low. It's gonna depend on what you're working on, but that's, you know, it, it depends. That's how I work essentially. Okay, so that's what those do. Great, cool. Let's go to something else. Okay, so I got this picture here. Now let's say I wanted to fade this picture out to, to dark or to black at the very bottom. There's multiple ways to do that, but I'm gonna do it with a paintbrush. So I got my picture layer right here. My picture, dudes. And then I'm gonna put a, a, a pixel layer on top of it because I wanna paint on top of the picture. I don't wanna damage this picture um, just in case I make a mistake or I wanna change it. So I'm on, I got a pixel layer on top of it. I'm gonna take my paintbrush out by hitting B. I am going to show you if I have everything at 100%, opacity, flow, and hardness, and I did a stroke, that's what it's gonna look like. T -t Terrible, so we don't want that. So let's get rid of that, and let's uh, do something a little bit better. We're gonna turn the hardness all the way down. We're gonna turn the flow to, let's say, 30%, and we're gonna turn the opacity to 30%. Let's just see what that looks like. And then you can see when I paint now, I mean, you're gonna be hearing a lot of clicking because I'm just gonna slowly paint across here gonna darken across the bottom here. Okay, so this is with the layer on, that's with the layer off. Now if I did this paint and I thought it's good but it's not strong enough or it's a little too strong, I could always change the opacity on the actual layer itself. So I've got the layer selected, the the uh, paint strokes I just did, and I'm just gonna bring the opacity down. So if I could bring it all the way down, halfway, all the way up, that's how you would use a paintbrush uh, for things like that. And as always, I'm gonna link the video, but if you wanted to sample any colors in here and paint those colors, uh, I'm gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna pick my paintbrush tool. I'm gonna to use my color picker tool, which I'll link below. I'm gonna load one of these pinks in here, like this one. 
zoom back out here, zoom back in, change this, and then I would have this pink color here, which you know is not looking good, but I'm just saying, if I wanted to add some uh, something from the actual picture itself, color picker tool, check out the video linked below. Okay, so we got that, let me get rid of that layer. See ya. All right, next, let's do some eyes. So if you wanted to paint someone's eyes, uh, I got my pixel layer here. I got girl, girl, model, girl, eyes. Okay, I'm gonna add a new pixel layer on top of that and take out my paintbrush. Now again, paintbrush, if I had everything cranked up, opacity 100%, flow 100%, hardness 100%, and I wanted to paint, say, this green color on her eyes, well, she would look like a demon or something. So not good, not good. We're gonna get rid of that. Let's delete that. Now, let's change the brush settings. Let's turn our hardness all the way down. Let's turn our flow really low, maybe like 20%. And let's turn our opacity to 30%. Okay, so opacity 30%, flow 20%, hardness 20%. Let's zoom into the eyes. And let me just paint a little bit here. And it's not gonna look great. Every composition is different, but I'm just gonna show you guys how this works. So I'm just gonna paint around the eye a little bit here. Uh, maybe make the brush a bit smaller around here. Make it a little bit bigger here, paint over here again. So again, not great guys, not great. But let's zoom out. So now you can see your eye, not great, but it looks green, greenish. I could do a little bit more down here. Maybe try to uh, even out the, uh, the paint here. And let's do the other one because She's not a husky. All right, let's uh, do this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this is, okay, so there you go. So that's an example of uh, green eyes, or painting eyes. So again, um, it all depends on the hardness and softness of your brush. If I change uh, blend modes, which I also have a video for that, I'll link below, you can change the look of the green as well to see what looks better or worse. Uh, if you thought it was too much, you could blend it in slightly by just bringing the opacity up or down on the layer. So that is that. And one quick one, let's do uh, not the eyes, but some painting on the skin here. So let's, uh, got a pixel layer here. Let's get our brush. We got our brush selected. So let's see. So if I, again, let me turn up the opacity maybe a little bit more, 50%, flow 20%, hardness is zero. And actually, no, let me show you this because this is another, just gonna show you another example. It's all the way up. I'm gonna turn my brush down here. Say I painted this above her eyes, like this. Uh, very cool. Um, doesn't really look that great. Even with blend modes, you can see it's a bit strong. Just doesn't really look good. So let's uh, get rid of that. We're gonna turn our hardness all the way down, our flow down to maybe 30. We're gonna turn our opacity down maybe to 40. And I'm gonna make my brush maybe a little bigger. And I'm just gonna paint here on her eye a couple times like this, perhaps. Don't know anything about makeup, but you know, or do I? All right, so uh, we got this here, looks like not great. Let's change blend modes just to see if something looks a little more natural. This looks a little bit better, screen looks okay. Add looks good. Overlay looks pretty good. Yeah, so there's overlay. So that's your brushes. Um, always look at your opacity, your flow, and your hardness. Again, I personally always have the hardness almost at zero, flow very low, and my opacity, depending on what I'm working with, usually low, but it all depends. So that is paint brushes. If you like the video, you know what to do. Like it. Uh, it would be awesome if you would subscribe. And all those other things, all those other YouTubers say, because apparently I'm, I'm a YouTuber now. So uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.